Example 4.8 of 5.8 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. In this example, an insulated rigid tank initially contains 1.5 pound mass of helium at 80 Fahrenheit and 50 PSIA. The paddle wheel with a power rating of 0.02 horsepower is operated within the tank for 30 minutes. The goal of the example is to determine the final temperature of the process as well as the final pressure of the helium gas. The first step in this problem is to do a balance of energy. We have the energy going in minus the energy leaving the system is equal to the change of energy in the system. The energy in is the amount of shaft work that is provided by this paddle. There is no energy leaving. There is nothing that is crossing the boundary. There is no work leaving. And also because it's insulated, there is no heat leaving or entering the system. The change of the energy in the system, the possibilities are changing the internal energy, potential energy, and kinetic energy. However, since there is no change in position or velocity, potential and kinetic energy are not changing. Therefore, the, this reduces to the work done by the shaft is equal to the change in internal energy. The work provided by the shaft is simply calculated by taking the power of the shaft times the time that it runs for. This is equal to 0 0.02 horsepower and the time that it runs is equal to 30 minutes which is equal to half an hour and then using the conversion uh, 2545 BTU per hour is equal to 1 horsepower. Notice horsepower and horsepower cancels, hour and hour cancels, and the unit left with is going to be BTU. So the work done by the shaft is equal to 25.45 BTU. Then now in order for us to be able to find the change of the energy, we are going to describe it using change of internal energy is equal to the mass times the uh, specific volume at constant, uh, specific heat at constant volume and the difference between temperatures. We're able to use this relationship since the material in this problem is helium and helium is treated as an ideal gas. In this case, what we're looking for is the final temperature. So we're going to equal this to quantities and solve for T2. Uh, the information that is provided, we have a mass of 1.5 pound mass. And the value for CV in this particular case, if we go to the table, we find it to be 0 0.753 BTU pound mass. Rankines. So if we make these two values equal to each other and we solve for T2, we see that T2 is simply going to be the work done by the shaft divided by MCV plus T1. And then if we substitute all these values, we find that T2 is equal to 25.45 BTU divided by 1.5 pounds mass times 0.753 BTU pound mass Rankine plus the temperature that we need in Rankine. So the initial uh, temperature was equal to 80 Fahrenheit. If we convert that into Rankine, it gives us 540. Notice that the units cancel. This is pound mass, this is pound mass, BTU and BTU, and the left unit is going to be Rankine's. Then we find that the final temperature is simply 562.5 Rankine's or 102.5 degree Fahrenheit. In order to find the final pressure, we use the ideal gas relationship P1, V1 divided by T1 is equal to P2, V2 divided by T2. Since this is a rigid tank, the initial volume 
and the final volume are equal to each other and this relationship simply simplifies to P1 T1 is equal to P2 T2 since we're looking for pressure 2 pressure 2 is simply P1 T1 times the temperature T2 and then we said P2 is equal to uh, 50 PSI A divided by the initial uh, uh, temperature which is 540 Rankines and we multiply it by the final temperature which is 562.5 Rankines we find that the final pressure is given to be 52.1 uh, PSIA as a reminder when you use ideal gas laws you need to use um, absolute values for both pressure and temperature